Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today I want to teach you how to convert your Minecraft worlds into RTX worlds using the Minecraft Windows 10 edition. So if you play Minecraft Java, I'm sorry but this actually doesn't apply to Minecraft Java. But if you have the Minecraft Windows 10 edition, as you know, uh, Minecraft RTX was announced a little over a year ago, about a year and a half ago, I think. And for a short time it was in beta and then it went into closed beta, but nothing changed. And what I mean by that is before you would have to download an RTX world from the marketplace to be able to play and check out your RTX graphics. And even after closed beta, that's still the case. So if we go to our marketplace here, you can click on the search in the marketplace. You can type in RTX in which NVIDIA has created their own RTX worlds for you to create and play using your graphics. All these worlds do look really cool, but I was under the impression that I'd be able to create my own worlds having these graphics. And sadly enough, that wasn't the case, but this is what we're going to talk about in this video. So go, let me go ahead and exit out of my game here, but I have found a resource pack in which you can use to convert your worlds that you've already played in and be able to play them with your RTX graphics. Or you could even create a new world and then enable RTX so you can play it with the new graphics as well. So what we're going to do here is go to your web browser and go to google.com and we are going to type in Kelly's RTX. Oh, it looks like I have caps lock on there. Whoopsies. And after you search it, you should see a uh, mcpedl.com. I guess you can call that mcpedal.com. We're going to click on that. And this will bring us to the website where we're going to download a resource pack to convert our normal worlds into RTX and let us play with the RTX graphics. And what I like about this resource pack, and keep in mind is that there's actually a lot of other resource packs out there that help deal with RTX. But what I found with this particular one is that if you read at the top here, it says this is a simple vanilla texture pack conversion for RTX on Minecraft Windows 10 edition. It's for the most part an exact conversion and all non-moving things have been converted. Everything has a special Everything has had special care and tweaking put into it. So if you really want uh, an exact conversion from your normal Minecraft textures, this is the resource pack you want to use. And like I said, there might be other good ones out there, but I don't, I haven't really worked with them. And once again, this one actually does claim that it is an exact conversion. So if we scroll down here, you're going to see a few pictures of the conversion of uh, what your graphics are actually going to look like. And yes, I can assure you that your graphics will look like this as long as you have an RTX graphics card in your computer. And we're just going to scroll down here until we see the download section. So if you scroll down here a little bit more, we should find some downloads. It'll be uh, in green text. At least the time of this video was in green text. And we're going to download this resource pack at the top called Kelly's RTX Base Pack. Along with these downloads, there's a few add-ons that you can download. If you actually look at these pictures, they actually talk about the add-ons that you can download as well. But I like to just stick with the base pack. So we're gonna click on the base pack. This will automatically create a download. You'll click on save as, let's save this to my downloads folder. And after that downloads, you can go ahead and click on show in folder. And what you'll do is you'll double click on the pack, which will import it into Minecraft. So this actually automatically opened up my Minecraft game for me. So make sure you have the game installed ahead of time. And after this loads, you'll see that the import has started and this will automatically happen. If you have already installed the resource pack like me, it'll say that it was a duplicate and that it failed. But for you guys, it should import just fine. So if we go ahead and click on play, what you'll do is on any of your existing worlds, or you could even create a new one, you'll click on the edit button and then click on resource packs and then go to my packs and then select Kelly's RTX vanilla conversion and click on activate and this will activate it in which you can go ahead and click on play and this will load up my world. This might take just a moment. You should also see it say Kelly's RTX at the top. So after it saves this resource pack, we'll see it say Minecraft while it's loading it. And well, for some reason I didn't see Kelly's RTX up there. That's kind of weird. It might be because I need to enable it. Oh, there it is. Never mind, it appeared right there. Perfect. All right, so we let this load. And if you don't see any difference in your graphics, you'll want to start by pausing your game and going to settings. And then we're gonna go down to video and scroll to the very bottom. And then we need to enable ray tracing. This should also enable your upscaling as well. It might take just a moment for the load. Oh, there's our upscaling. And then you should be able to see your RTX graphics. Some of you actually might automatically load up just like this. But as you can see, we have some realism in our clouds in which they're casting shadows. We have the sun, which is shining right beside the clouds, as well as you're gonna notice with this orange and normal sand, you're gonna have a little bit of glow. 
and actually a little bit of a reflection. See that right there? You can see the sand kind of glimmering right there from the sunlight. Um, while I'm streaming, I'm actually getting a little bit lower FPS than normal. Usually I get between 60 to 90. So depending on the graphics card you have will affect your frame rate. I also play this on a gaming laptop though, an RTX 2070 graphics card. So I only get between 60 and 90. You can probably get a little bit more. Um, like I said, I'm streaming, so it's decreasing my frame rate a little bit. But as you can see, the game looks amazing. And like I said, you can also do this when creating a new world. So if you wish to do that, what you can do is go ahead and go back to your main menu and you'll click on create new create new world and as you create the new world you can name it and do all the normal stuff that you usually do making the have a starting map bonus chest etc but just go down the resource packs activate or actually sorry my packs choose kelly's rtx activate and then create if we click on create we should have an rtx world be created so we're able to create our own minecraft worlds with rtx so let's just let this load up really quick again and we'll see if our world is created with RTX graphics. And surely enough, we can actually see the shadows and light through the trees with the grass. That looks freaking awesome. But if we go over here, we can actually see... Uh, oh, looks like... Did this load up a jungle? Looks like we loaded up a jungle. Yes, we did. And look at that water. The cool thing about this is this actually refracts. So if we go down underneath... We're actually only uh, two blocks deep, but if we go up, it looks like we're only like one block deep. So it actually refracts the water. You can see the sun rays shining through as well, which makes the game look really, really cool. And also another thing to keep in mind is that when you want to go back to your uh, normal graphics, you can just go back to your settings and go to video, scroll all the way down and disable your ray tracing and that will revert back to the original graphics. The only difference I've noticed when going back to the original graphics is you'll see that the sky is blue and then it kind of gets a dark, really dark blue and also black in the distance. I don't think that's actually what it looks like with normal graphics. So that's probably the only graphical difference I've noticed on my end. But anyways, you can uh, revert back to the RTX graphics or go back to normal anytime you'd like and I would also make sure that you have the upscaling enabled because if you don't have upscaling enabled you'll be, you will get really bad FPS so if I actually disable it right here you're going to see it's really choppy so if we go ahead and go back and enable that we should get more FPS and our game should play a lot smoother and one thing to also note is that if another player wants to join you and they don't have an RTX graphics card, if you have this resource pack enabled, it will require them to download it if they try and join the world. But if even if they don't have an RTX graphics card, it'll let them join and they'll pretty much see the graphics that you saw earlier with it disabled. Um, the only thing I'll have to keep in mind is that depending on the, the type of pack you install um, and also the version of Kelly's RTX that you install, it might affect what the player sees. For example, I used to play on an old version of Kelly's RTX in which glass was pretty much see-through for players with playing with normal graphics. It was completely see-through in which you could even tell it was glass. Unless you touched it, then you realized there was actually glass there. So anyways, if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments uh, if you have any problems or any questions, concerns. Um, but thanks for watching and hope to see you again in any of my uh, other videos. So we'll see you guys later.